Hello guys, Christian here. Today I want to talk about the new tolerance based machining from Camors. If you remember, two years ago Camors launched a revolutionary module which is called tolerance based machining. This new module is based on tolerance uh, put in DimExpert from SolidWorks. This, this module can automatically recognize the tolerance and machine to the mean of the tolerance. So, Camos launched approximately two years ago this module, but right now uh, I want to make this video because I read and read and uh, I find that nobody is talking about that this uh, new enhancement uh, tolerance based machining new version. So. The older version of tolerance based machining was a different application, you need to install it along Camos 17. From 18 version of Camos, this new module is already included in the installer, which is a great, which is great in my opinion. So right now when you install Camos 18, you will see this icon is tolerance based machining. I, I cannot talk about it, but prepare for the new version of tolerance based machining in the new version of Camos because there are a lot of enhancements. So I open this part. In my opinion, this how uh, a 3D model should come from the CAD department with all the information you need as a CNC programmer with the tolerances and uh, so on. So as, as I told you right now, tolerance based machining the new tolerance based machining is included in uh, the installer of Camos. When you, when you are pressing, automatically it opens up a new tab which is called Camos TBM. You have four icons here. First, let's see what is tolerance based machining settings, which is new. Right now, you have tolerance range like the older version, the same window in millimeter and in inch. You can add for for every feature in cameras, you can add tolerances, you can edit, add, and so on. You, you have also the ability to for the ISO 286 to be recognized. And for the multi-surface feature, you, you have uh, the settings. So let's change some, um, some colors here. Because we will need it later for the, for the example I choose for you. Okay, great. So this is these are the settings. Right now, when you are um, when when you want to run the tolerance based machine, you have the first icon. We will see practically the same window, but the functions are uh, divided differently. So in the first uh, first tab, it's run. You have options to recognize tolerance range and of course machine to mean. Recognize ISO 286 limits and fits. Recognize multi-surface feature based on surface finish and apply the color. This is why I choose the color. And the following process to be run. Uh, it's the same like in the older version. Automatic feature recognition, generate operation plan, sort operation, and uh, generate toolpath. Okay, so this is, these are my settings in the toler because the model it's in millimeter. Right now, I, right here, I have tolerance range in millimeters. All the settings. Right now, there are nothing identified. Also the same in ISO 286. And for the multi-surface feature, you see the settings I defined later uh, earlier. Okay, so right now. All I need to do is press OK, and all the all the processes processes automatic feature recognition, generate operation plan, and generate toolpath. It's running. It's already running in Camos. So I know everybody is talking right now about Industry 4.0. Every competitors, I mean, or regarding the Cam program, but. I don't know uh, if tolerance based machining uh, it's for uh, it's the perfect tool for industry 4.0 but in my opinion if you want to have a um, complete 4.0 process you need to have a tool like this and tolerance based machining 
right right now until today it's only the only cam software in the market who has this ability it's cameras of course with all the power that comes from solidors so if you are using cameras or if you are using solidors cam you can always try this new to tolerance based machining with the, all the enhancements I just presented to you. Just a reminder, this new tolerance based machining is available from Camors 18 version, but prepare for the new version of Camors, Camors 19. So, as you can see right now, I have all the, all the features feature recognized, all the surfaces and all the all the operations generated according to the mean tolerance and the and the, the pattern project for the according to the roughness roughness of the of the part so in my opinion this is one of the best tools in cameras of course if you want to run tolerance based machining you need to have a proper technology database defined uh, I mean the strategies and the tools but this is very very easy to do and if you if you have a good technology database uh, a technology database who you trust you can run this tolerance based machining and you cannot you will not modify the 3d model the programming time will be uh, much much less than the other versions of even of, of cameras so you know the drill if you have any questions regarding cameras or solidor scam please just uh, follow the my link link profile or subscribe to my youtube channel you can ask me questions directly on linkedin on or youtube or you just you, you just ask me for my email address i will give it to and we will i will help you if you have some issues regarding camos tolerance based machine and solid cam so until the next time bye take care